bucket hat Jordan in the building, man. Look, I'm going to just get straight into this one. I wasted my teenage years. I wasted my teenage years. Now, I'm sitting in the car right now, and this kind of brings me back to my 20th birthday when I was sitting in the car in the Walmart parking lot in Louisville, Texas, and I had a quarter-life crisis. Okay, I had a quarter-life crisis, man. I was 20 years old. It was my 20th birthday, and I remember just thinking to myself how down bad I was that I hadn't made any progress in life from ages 13 to 20. I wasted my teenage years. And in these last two years, I'm 22 right now, in these last two years, I've accomplished more than I did in those previous seven or eight years. Okay, I didn't accomplish anything in my teenage years because I didn't really have a sense of direction. Now, had I had access to my channel back then, if I had been able to watch videos like the ones that I make right now at that time, I would be much further ahead than I am right now. I need to make this video as quickly as possible because it is hot as hell in this car. So look, okay, the first mistake that I made as a teenager, as far as wasting my time, is I worked at a job that didn't really help me elevate myself in any conceivable way. Now, understand that as a teenager, you have slim pickings when it comes to your work. Okay, you can only work at so many jobs because you probably have little to no work experience, right? Now, obviously, you can start your own business and things like that. You can start a YouTube channel. These are viable ways to make money as a teenager. But even then, there are limitations to that because you may have to open up joint bank accounts with your parents because you're not old enough to open up your own account. And there's a lot of extra barriers, right? I feel like as a teenager, it's actually better to work at a regular job because then you get to see whether or not you like working. Now... I worked at IHOP, okay? That was the first job that I ever worked at. I worked at IHOP for 11 months, and then I worked at Chuck E. Cheese's for about a month. Didn't last very long there before I ended up quitting. But I worked at these jobs, and they didn't improve me in any way, shape, or form. I didn't develop any extra skills other than the skills of cleaning, okay? Learning how to hold a bunch of different plates and cups and all of that on a tray and take it to the kitchen for the dishwasher to clean them. I didn't really develop any skills. I wish I would have taken a pay cut, just a slight pay cut to go work retail. I think every teenager should work retail. Every single teenager, bro. And here's the reason why. Okay, especially if you're a young man and you're lacking confidence, retail is literally the best possible job you can work. Okay, now the pay is worse. You'll make minimum wage more than likely. Where I live, minimum wage is $7.25 an hour. But when I tell you that some of the best working memories that I ever made were made working retail, I am not bullshitting whatsoever, okay? The reason why retail is such an impactful job for you to work, especially as a teenager, is because for one, you're making money, okay? And that allows you to accumulate money over a long period of time and save some of that money for whatever you may want to purchase in the future, whether that be the equipment for starting a YouTube channel or if you want to put some of the money into your college fund or whatever you want to do with that. Okay, but aside from the money, you enhance your social skills. Okay, working retail is the quickest way to enhance your social skills because they are paying you to socialize with other people. Now, here's the trick. Okay, I was not a very social outgoing person. I'm still not to this day, but I learned how to socialize through retail, not from talking to the customers, but from talking to my coworkers. Okay, you have to understand that when you work retail, you will be surrounded by people who are social. You're going to be surrounded by a lot of outgoing people and not just people, but girls. Okay, you're going to be surrounded by a lot of outgoing women who love to talk for the sake of talking. That's why they work retail. Okay, so understand that by working retail, not only are you enhancing your general social skills and even your sales skills, but you're also enhancing your ability to talk to women your social skills as they pertain to talking to women. Okay, a lot of people, they don't know how to talk to girls because they don't have the experience. And of course, there are a lot of different factors at play there. But ultimately, if you can get a job working retail, especially at a trendy store, maybe a PacSun, Urban Outfitters, H&M, Forever 21, I think H&M only hires you if you're 18 or up, so maybe some of the other stores, you will develop great social skills. Even if you're an introvert like me, okay, I'm a very, very, very big introvert, but I learned how to socialize because I worked retail. Like I said, the majority of the social skills that you will develop do not come from talking to the customers. They come from talking to your coworkers, 
okay? And you can establish relationships with people who maybe aren't in your immediate social group. Now, in addition to that, when you work retail, you get an employee discount on clothes. Okay, hold on, it is hot as hell in here. I'm trying my hardest, man. I'm gonna finish this video. I'm gonna thug it out for you guys, but when you get an employee discount on clothes, you can build up your wardrobe because for one, you have the employee discount, so you get the clothes for cheaper, but two, because your sense of style, your fashion sense will improve by being in that environment, right? It's only a matter of time because when you're surrounded by so many clothes all the time and you're folding these clothes, you're tagging these clothes with the sensors and everything like that, you start to subconsciously put fits together in your mind, okay? So your sense of fashion will improve and you'll be able to go into your wardrobe building process with a strategy. You'll develop your aesthetic and then you can purchase clothes and from there, you'll be able to enhance your confidence even further, okay? Because not only do you have the social skills, but now you have the wardrobe to match it. Okay, let me tell you guys something, a little tip for all of my younger people out there. Your wardrobe can get you into a lot of different rooms. Your wardrobe alone, just the outfits that you wear can get you into a lot of different rooms because people do judge you based on what you wear. It's unfortunate, but they do. Okay, so with that being said, you have to learn to not so much play the game, but just utilize the game to your benefit. So I would highly recommend that all teenagers work retail, particularly work at a trendy retail store where you'll be surrounded by women your age. Now, the next thing that I wish I would have done differently as a teenager is I wish I wouldn't have played video games so much. Now, I'm not telling you that you need to completely stop playing video games, especially if that's a part of your purpose. If you want to be a Twitch streamer or a gaming YouTuber or gaming TikToker, whatever you want to do, of course, you need to be playing video games as frequently as possible because that's a part of your profession. That's a part of your vocation. But at the same time, you have to ask yourself why you're playing video games because the majority of you don't want to do that. Okay, the majority of you who play video games, you're not wanting to be a competitive gamer or a gaming YouTuber or content creator or anything of that nature. Okay, you're just playing video games because you have nothing better to do. Okay, you either have nothing better to do or you're trying to escape from your reality, which was the case with me. Me personally, I lacked confidence. I lacked the confidence to go out and meet people and do things, try new things and break out of my comfort zone. And so instead of doing those things, I played video games. I spent a lot of time playing video games as a form of escapism from my reality because I was unsatisfied with who I was and I was unsatisfied with where I was in life. Now, granted, as a teenager, nobody knows who they truly are, okay? You're in the self-discovery process, which really lasts a lifetime, but is really initiated during those teenage years. But understand that if you don't take some time to really analyze your life and just face reality head on, you're going to end up wasting your teenage years like I did, man, because I spent so much time. I'm talking about, look, I've posted over 800 videos on YouTube and I have spent nowhere near as much time making YouTube videos as I spent on GTA alone, just that one game much less all of the other games that I played. Now, like I said, video games can be fun, okay? They can be beneficial to your mental health even because they can help you relax. They can help you de-stress and they can help you make memories with your friends. I made some amazing, hilarious memories with my friends playing GTA, playing 2K, playing Madden, all of these games that we can reflect on. But at the same time, 95% of the time that I spent playing video games was spent playing by myself just wandering around the game aimlessly, or even worse, trying to build my character up in lieu of building myself up because I didn't think that I was worthy of that time, attention, and effort.